So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover this amazing lab so first of all click on start lab and open the cloud console incognito window now if you are new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel so just open the cloud console incognito window like this and here it is getting signed in automatically if it asks for username and password refer to the lab instruction here basically we have to enable the api basically document ai api so for that we need to activate the cloud shell you can see here the task number one is enable the document ai so just activate the cloud shell and here you have to just click on continue and authorize yourself and then we will open the document ai so just click on continue and just authorize yourself here just wait for few seconds and then it will be started so just come to the lab instruction and copy this api just run it like this and then we have to run the pip command so first of all let me first of all increase the font size also so now it is done now let's install it so just installing it it will take some time so wait for it now once it is done you have to just come back again to the lab instructions and we'll export another command okay we'll run another command come over here to the lab instruction and just run this install upgrade document ai command so just run it like this it will take again some time and finally it's done now you have to just close the cloud cloud shell and just check the score okay and other remaining skill badges are already available in the channel check the description for it now on the search box just type document ai and you have to just type document ai you can just see click on the first one and here basically we have to create a processor that is basically a form parser so here you have to click on explore processor so just click on it wait for some time it will load itself and here we have to select form parser okay come over here and click on this form parser and just come down over here and then you can see on number 3 we have to just copy the name carefully make sure there is no extra space or dot just click on create it will take some time and it will be created within few seconds and once it is created it may take at least 10 to 15 seconds or up to one minute to get the score so you need to wait for it you may not get the score instantly or sometimes you may get the score so you need to just wait for it and just wait for some time and check the score again and that's how we will complete this lab so just keep checking the score so finally we got the score and if you want to enable this check my progress bar you can check the description i have mentioned how to enable check my progress so just do it like this and refresh the browser if you want to see the score now just send the lab and 